Hi, this is Lance Yoder, and I'm going to talk about using Soundtrap to create podcasts. Now, Soundtrap allows you to edit all kinds of different audio files, mix them, uh, combine sound effects. It's very, very cool what all you can do with it. Uh, this is for users that are 13 and older, so keep that in mind. If you have students that are under the age of 13, they cannot use Soundtrap.com. I'm going to go ahead and enter the studio. After you make a, an account, you would go to enter the studio. It'll take you to a screen where you can add tracks. It's going to ask you what kind of recording you want to do, if you want to do an instrumental or a podcast or whatnot. Okay, now that it has loaded, I can start with a blank project or a, an example podcast. I'm just going to do a blank project. It's almost easier if you just start from scratch. If you need to hear an example podcast, that's a great place to start. I'm going to go ahead and do a blank project so I can add my own tracks here. All right, I'm going to add a new track and it's going to ask if I want to play an instrument. You can actually play instruments or if you want to add your own sounds or sound effects that they have available for you to use, you can open in loop library. So they have different kinds of styles here uh, and you can listen to them. I kind of like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over here into the add new track section and it's going to upload it and put it in. I'm going to go ahead and pause right there. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add my audio to this. So I'm going to add a new track here and I'm going to do voice and microphone. And it's going to ask me to enable record mode. I've already done this once before, so we'll see if it does it again. But it's going to ask you to uh, allow access to your microphone. And it's also going to go through the setup. So here's the setup. Testing one, two, three. You'll hit next. You're going to have to be loud. And then soft. So right now they want you to be loud. They want you to be singing really loud so that way they can tell how... There we go. So now they're done and that is how they tell uh, how to level your microphone, which is a nice feature. So here we go. I'm ready to record. And so I'm going to say this. Hi, my name is Lance Yoder and oh, I got a little problem there. I'm not going to like that. And the reason why is because it's going to have that sound over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to all my tracks here. I'm going to go to edit, editor. Right now it's on instruments. I'm going to go to editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this over here. And actually I'm going to go ahead and just delete this track here. Now this time when I record, I'm going to put my scrubber right there on the end of it. getting ready to record and hi this is Lance Yoder and this is my very first podcast making it with soundtrap.com this is a great resource and I hope that teachers enjoy it there we go I stopped it's going to process it and now it puts it in all right so that's the basics I'm not going into any super big detail on how to create one of these uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to take this scrubber here and I'm going to kind of show you how you can fade out if you want. If I want to edit this track specifically, when I hover over it, there is an edit button. I can choose to fade in or fade out, transpose it if I need to. I can edit the name of it. I'm going to fade out. I'm going to also reduce the amount of fade going on here. And I'm going to grab a hold of it like so. I'm also going to grab this track and just slide it in here a little bit so that they overlap a little bit. Um, if I want to edit this a little bit, I can grab a hold of that. That way I heard a little clip at the beginning of that. I didn't really like it, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that in, and maybe that'll sound better. Hi, this is Lance Yoder, and this is my very first podcast, Making It with Soundtrap.com. This is a great resource, and I hope that teachers enjoy it. There we go, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, now that I've saved it, it is now on my profile page. I can click on my profile page to actually download it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Soundtrap icon. It's going to take me to my profile page where I can actually download it, where I can export it from here. 
here I have two songs to work with. I can share it from here. I can send it to through email. I can send it to SoundCloud, social media. I can use a specific link or I can even download the audio file itself. And it goes into my download folder right here. So now that it's in my download folder, when I open this up, I can actually sort this into Google Drive if I want to. And I can also upload it to Google Classroom or whatever learning management system uh, your teacher is using. So that's a little bit about soundtrap.com and how to create a podcast from it.